Welcome to the grand coronation of the Inter-Corona Universe 2020. Hi everyone, this is Paul Domingo, your online host for this online pageant. And that's it mga fresh. welcome to the grand coronation of the Inter-Corona Universe 2020. But before we'll get to know the, the first ever Inter-Corona Universe, we'll get to move on to the last and final exposure which is the highly awaited and most anticipated question and answer portion. This exposure will test the wit and intelligence of our candidate and this will help us to determine who will be crowned tonight as the first ever Inter-Corona Universe 2020. At all For time. this exposure, the panel of judges generated one question and the candidates will be given two minutes to wrap up their answers. So we have here the criteria for judging. We have 20% for the substance and relevance, 15% for the wit and intelligence, and another 15% for the delivery and conviction, a total of 50% in which the scores will be accumulated from the from the gown competition which is 50% and for the Q&A which is 50% a total of 100%. The scores from this exposure will be accounted from the previous exposure which is the gown competition and we will get through this through the help of our panel of judges. So let me just present to you again our panel of judges. We have Mr. Zosimo Makarae, Mr. Leo Greengrass, Mr. Mark Matthew Algis, Mr. Jude Christinson Ignacio, and the Chairman of the Board, Ms. Zia Carla Casay Calamba. So we'll not take this long anymore, Maka Fresh. I know that you guys are all excited. And without further ado, let us all welcome our top eight finalists in their QA portion. How will you use beauty for the humanity in these trying times? Hi everyone, let me start my answer by saying that beauty is not a thing which you can acquire or consume. It is something one person must have to be. And what actually sustains us from what is fundamentally beautiful is our compassion within ourselves, our contribution to the society and how we keep it to the people around us. But in these trying times where everything is immobilized because of pandemic, where everyone is deprived to be close to their loved ones and when helping seems to be a difficult task. How can we keep beauty relevant? Simple, by recalibrating our thoughts about beauty. Because for me, in this time of uncertainties, I can use my beauty simply by using my eyes to see the goodness in others, using my lips to speak words of wisdom and kindness, using my hands to uplift everyone, and most especially, having that strength to encourage and empower everyone to be as resilient as they can be. Because after all, what is beauty if you haven't done anything for humanity? Thanks. How will you use beauty for humanity in this trying time? So my answer is goes like this. As a beauty queen, I will use my voice to spread factual information about COVID-19 by tapping different sectors of the government, especially to the Department of Health. As of now, I am working in a private organization here in our town, helping our frontliners in fighting against COVID-19. In this way, I can show to the people that beauty queens are not just beauty, but they also care about the humanity. Thank you. As a Filipino citizen and a beauty queen, I will use my voice to seek unity and serve as a catalyst for changes. This will become our stepping stone of our success, not only in winning the battle of this crisis, but to the battle we are facing individually and holistically. This pandemic might give us a thousand gigantic waves for our survival. But it is also an expedition in searching for the unity of divided humanity. Because I believe that the optimum of our real success is the product of a unified society. That could be all. Thank you. 
for this wonderful question. I believe that beauty comes with many different definitions, and most of us define beauty based on physical appearances. But I believe that the true beauty comes with the true actions and true purposes. I will use my voice here in these trying times to use as a beauty to influence other people and to tell them that the, the greatest lesson that I have learned that in the trying times or any problem that we will face, it is not a punishment. Indeed, it is a test of patience and selflessness. Patience, because we are not assured, we will wait, we are not assured of when this will end and when we'll be back to the normal life that we always that we used to have. And selflessness, because we are not alone fighting this pandemic. We are all in this together. And I believe that it, if we will have the positivity in mind and encouragement, we will have a wonderful community and this will conclude to the better community, society and country. Ladies and gentlemen, let us hold together our band of hopes and faiths and see the light after the darkness of this pandemic. Thank you. Thank you so much for that very interesting question of mine. How would I use beauty for humanity in this trying time? Well, for me and my own perception, I will use my beauty for humanity in this trying time for being a resilient. Psychologically and quality, I will allow some people to be not done by the adversities of life and come back at least as strong as before, rather than letting difficulties, traumatic events, failure that overcome them and drain their soul. However, highly resilient people find a way to change course, emotionally heal, and aside from that, continue moving toward their goals. On the other hand, you can find beauty in the midst of hard times, but you may need to expand your understanding to recognize it. There is beauty in helping others even in small ways. And there is beauty in human compassion and generosity. I guess that would be all in the English. Mabuhay, this is Pia Horst back to Inter Corona Universe 2020 representing Philippines. The final question is, how can I use beauty for humanity in this trying time? As a freelance performer artist and as a comedian, I really have the passion of giving entertainment and happiness to the people. I can use this beauty for humanity in this time and this by sh simply sharing good vibes and also I want to sh use this to be a good a chance to be a good role model by simply following of what the government social protocol told us to do. And I also want to be an inspiration to all not only to myself, not only to the communities, to the society, to the country Philippines, but of course in the whole world. I want to know, I want to let everybody to know that ang tunay na kagandahan ay hindi nasusukat sa panlapas na kaanyuan. Dahil ang tunay na kagandahan ay ang paggawa ng kabutihan sa sangkatauhan at ito ay hindi lang nakikita ang pagkos nararamdaman. Naniniwala ako na ito yung pagkakataon o pagpakita ang pagpapahalaga ng bawat kasapi at miyembro ng pamilya, ang pagpapahalaga ng oras, kalusugan, at ng buhay na meron tayo ngayon. This is the perfect time to showcase, uh, to share positivity and to, sh to share good vibes. And I also do believe that lagi nating tatandaan na ang kagandahan na meron tayo ngayon ay panandalian lamang. Pagkos ang dapat na mamumutawi ay ang pagbibigay kasiyahan, ang pagpapakita at pagpapahalaga ng bawat tao, ng bawat sambayanan at ng lahat na nasasakupan. Dahil ang kagandahang meron tayo ngayon ay hindi pang habang buhay. Pagkos ito'y panandalian lamang. Dahil ang tunay na kagandahan, ladies and gentlemen, ay isang ligasiya ng pagbibigay ng taos-pusong pag-unawa at sa kung ano ang maiambag mo. At ito yun. Ito ang tamang panahon upang magkaroon at magamit ko ang tatapormang ito sa social media na ipakita sa kanila ang kahalagahan at pagpapahalaga ko sa sarili ko, sa pamilya ko at sa kung anong meron ako ngayon. Yun ang dapat na mumutawi sa isip at sa puso ng bawat tao na ang, kala, ang kahalagahan ng kalusugan, ng pamilya ay importante sa kung ano pa. Dahil naniniwala ako na ang tunay na maganda ay nandito, hindi dito. Thank you. 
The main tagline of this beauty pageant is beauty in humanity. And in this pageant, when we say beauty, it doesn't mean about our physical appearance. When we say beauty, it doesn't mean that it is objective. But rather, when we say beauty for humanity, it is the beauty in subjectivity. Beauty in the heart, mind, and soul. And it is a beauty in finding positive in every negative situation. It is a beauty in finding unity, beauty in compassion, beauty in serving other people. And I think that kind of beauty is the beauty that we need right now. In times of uncertainties, doubts that are seemingly taking over our world right now, I think we need that kind of beauty. We need the beauty to serve one another, the beauty to unite, the beauty to have compassion with one another, and the beauty to understand each other's culture, beliefs regarding who, who and what they are. Because I think we don't need to fight right now. We need to help each other to uplift right now because this pandemic is threatening us to be good, to be united, and to stand as one. So, I will help spread beauty in humanity by using this virtues of beauty of mind to influence other people not just in my barangay not just in my locality but in the whole world to unite for that kind of beauty let us not look for the beauty in objectivity but rather let us look in the heart the beauty that lies within so that as one we shall fight this covid 19 with real beauty and when we find that real beauty, I believe we can heal humanity. Thank you. I can use beauty in these trying times by inspiring everyone to keep on going, to never lose hope. I, myself, I am a beauty queen. I am a beauty ambassadress. And I am here always to inspire everyone to keep on going and never lose hope. I believe that every one of us has a chance Every one of us has the right to exist. Every one of us has the right to live. And I believe that through this, I could encourage everyone to keep safe. Like in today's pandemic, life is not easy. I believe that we should always keep ourselves healthy. Let us protect ourselves no matter what, not just for ourselves, but for our family. I believe that through this, I am acting kindness. And I believe that the best thing that I can leave behind to humanity is my kindness besides to my beauty. Thank you so much and good evening. Presentation of Awards Inter-Corona Universe 2020 will receive a cash prize of 3,000 pesos and a PP packages for our frontliners. Inter-Corona World 2020 will receive 2,000 pesos cash and PPE packages. Inter Corona International 2020 will receive 1,000 pesos cash and PPE packages. First and second runners up will receive 500 pesos cash. Quarant Queens will receive 300 pesos cash. And the unlucky candidates will still receive 200 pesos cash. Minor Awards Best in Production Number Best in Swimsuit Attire Media Presentation Award and Best in Gown will receive 200 cash Corporate Awards Healthiest Candidate Miss Eloquence Pyramid's Choice Yofi Farm Choice will receive 100 pesos cash we would like to thank the following sponsors I Remit Israel Mobile Home Amro Mobile Panel of Judges and Yoffe Farm So now mga fresh, let's move on to the giving of the Minor and Corporate Awards So let's start with our Best in Production Number Our Best in Production Number no other than Miss Croatia! So next award we have the best in swimsuit attire. So our best in swimsuit attire goes to 
our bathroom swims to the car goes to again Croatia. So next up we have the media presentation award. Our media presentation award will be given to Croatia. So the last minor award is the best in gown. So our best in gown goes to our best in gown goes again to Miss Croatia. So let's move on to the corporate awards. So let's start with the Miss Eloquence. Our Miss Eloquence will go to Miss Bahamas. So next up we have the Iron Miss Choice. Our Iron Miss Choice will go to USA. So our next corporate award is the healthiest candidate. Our healthiest candidate goes to Our healthiest candidate goes to US Virgin Islands. Our last corporate award is the Yoffe Farm Choice. And our Yoffe Farm Choice is no other than Our Yoffe Farm Choice is Philippines. And now, it's time to reveal the major awards, which are the top three quarantine queens, first and second runner-up, and the Inter-Corona International World and Universe 2020. So, let's start with our top three quarantine queens. So, let's start with our top three quarantine queens. Our third quarantine queen garnered an average score of 74.61%. Our third quarantine queen goes to Brazil. Our second quarantine queen garnered an average score of 80.08. .08. Our second quarantine queen goes to Philippines. Our first quarantine queen garnered an average score of 81.6%. Our first Quarantine Queen goes to Canada. So let's move on to the runners up. Let's start with the second runner up. Our second runners up garnered an average score of 82.97%. Our second runners up goes to Mauritius. Runners-up garnered an average score of 83.74. Our first runners-up goes to USA. And now, it's time to reveal the top 3 Inter-Corona Queens. So to start with, let's announce the Inter-Corona International 2020. Our Inter-Corona International 2020 garnered an average score of 91.55% is... Our Inter-Corona International 2020 is... Puerto Rico! So we have here last two women standing, Miss Bahamas and Miss Croatia. And now let's announce first the Inter-Corona Universe 2020, which means that the girl who have in gold will automatically be our Inter-Corona World 2020. Garnering an average score of 92.51%, our Inter Corona Universe 2020 is Bahamas! And 
And our inter-corona world is no other than Croatia! Congratulations to our newly crowned Inter-Corona Queens 2020! And that concludes our winners for this online pageant. Once again, this is Paul Domingo and it has been my pleasure launching you this event. Signing off.